the first match of any Grand Slam is not easy. Uh, how pleased were you to close it out there in that last game? Uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with myself. Katarina is a fighter. I knew she was going to fight to the last point, and she proved that today. Um, we had some excellent points that last game, but really, I think I just stayed mentally there. You certainly did, because at 4-2 down there in the second set, I thought mentally your response was incredible. What were you telling yourself at 4-2 down in that second set? Um, I just said the pressure was on her. I won the first set, um, so she has to win the set to stay in the match. And I had opportunities uh, to break that set, and I broke a lot in the um, first set, so I knew when my time would come, I would be able to execute. And one thing you did fantastic today was transition into the net really well. Uh, I think that's something you've been working on in the preseason. How did you feel with your transition game today? Um, I think I did really well. I mean, the points uh, that I lost at the net, she played incredible, especially that backhand pass. I mean, it was just too good. Um, I wouldn't change anything about that point, and it's something I've been working on. I like to play doubles, so I uh, tried to transfer that into singles. And lastly, you've been in Melbourne for a little bit now. We saw you on Wednesday night. How excited are you to be back in Melbourne and to be back out here on Rod Laver Arena? I'm super honoured. I was not expecting to be able to open the tournament on Rod Laver, so I'm super honoured that you guys <laughs> uh, came, came to support me and honoured that the tournament um, decided to choose me and Katarina to be able to open up uh, this court for the tournament. Well, you did a fantastic job. It was a great game. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, Coco Goff. Hi, I'm John McEnroe, and welcome to Eurosport Tennis on YouTube. Click here to subscribe to Eurosport Tennis.